guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I thought I would do a little snatched glam get ready with me. Sorry about the light, whoa. Um, a little snatched glam get ready with me and I'll show you the finished look right here. So, Place that they never find. and we're gonna create that look today and we're going to literally snatch our face and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So if you guys wanna uh, keep on watching and see how I snatch my glam, then just make sure you leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy it and let's just get started. First things first, I like to go ahead and put my hair back because my hair really annoys me when I'm trying to do my makeup. So I just had this little hair wrap thing and I'm going to just put it on my hair and this is not sponsored by Body Blends, but <laughs> obviously, but this is something I got a long time ago when I used to do Instagram videos and it was for a sponsorship at one point, but this video is not <laughs> sponsored. Um, I haven't done sponsored videos in a long... Oh, that looks really dumb. Oh my god. That looks ridiculous. Okay, let's just put our hair back. Okay, okay, we're, we're living. I like my hair to be, like, out of my face while I'm doing this. I'm just gonna leave my hair alone because it's not cooperating, and... That's fine, we'll just leave it like that. It's okay, we'll just work with it. This thing is not cooperating, so um, bye, bitch. So, what I like to do when I start my makeup is I like to give my face a little bit of refreshment, a little bit of, like you know, a little bit of moisture. So I'm gonna start off with a setting spray. This is the Pollution Protection All Nighter. Just spritz that on and it just kind of gives your skin like a nice moisture layer. Helps the makeup last longer too. We're gonna put it on top obviously, but. So I don't know if you can tell, but I love facial sprays. So I'm gonna go in with this rose water. This is from Heritage Store and it looks like that. And it's it just a pure rose water spray. And I love using this. I put a towel down too, so I don't get powder on my legs. But um, I love spritzing this on as well. Oh, it's just so refreshing. I just kind of pat it in. It's just all natural rose water and I'm breaking out right here and right there, but we're gonna snatch it anyway. Um, but I love this rose water. It's just so nice and refreshing. So I put that on and it just kind of refreshes my skin. It feels so good and just like skin drinks it right up. I love it. Next, I'm gonna go in with a pore filling primer. This is from e.l.f. This is the Poreless Putty Primer. Um, Mine's really well used, obviously. I use it all the time, but I use it like right in here. In my oily, like porous area. So I like to put it in and then just kind of like focus it right here. Cause I have like large pores in these areas. And I just shaved this morning. I probably should have shaved before filming this, but cause my beard area is really strong, but we're gonna make it work. So anyways, I like to really get that primer in there and just really like press it in get all those pores you know filled up so they're not looking horrible when we put the foundation on so anyways we put that on and then we can go in with the foundation today i'm going to use a mixture i've been alternating between these but this is the l'oreal infallible fresh wear foundation and it's in the shade 410 which is just uh one of the lighter colors i'm not sure which one just 410 is the color and then the Vula Beauty Serum Foundation in the shade one, I mix these together and these just work really well together and they're not super cakey looking. So anyways, I squirt two pumps of the Infallible and then like a pump of the Vula Beauty, ooh. Okay, this, I, I have another one, I need to open it. Ooh. Okay, we got the rest of it out of there. And then we go ahead and mix it on the back of my hand with the back of a brush, that's what I usually do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just Kind of dot the foundation around with the brush. It looks like I'm putting a lot, but I'm just spreading it out a little bit, a long way kind of thing. And I really like to focus some extra, like right in here, because I do have a beard area, but or a mustache or whatever. Um, but if you're, you know, not a guy, <laughs> then you don't have to do that extra there. But I just like doing it there, just to give a little extra coverage. And then I like to lay it out with a brush and then blend it with the sponge. So we'll go on the neck in a minute. It looks like a ton of foundation, but look, there's still that much left on the back of my hand. So I didn't use that much. So anyways, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Total Face Sponge and blend that in. I love this sponge too. It's really, really soft and I dampened it with water and cleaned it and it's like super squishy, which is what I like for a beauty sponge because it really just gets everything nice and blended in and it doesn't soak up too much product. This sponge is just awesome. I love it. So we're just gonna continue to blend and look at how good that covered up like the redness and stuff. It just, 
but it's not like a full mask, which is what I like when it comes to foundation because a lot of times foundation just looks like a full on mask and I don't want that. I, I kind of want my skin to look just prettier basically, but I want that redness to be covered up and my five o'clock shadow to be covered up. But these foundations are really good together or just the infallible by itself is a great drugstore option. So if you're in the drugstore market looking for a foundation that infallible fresh wear is really good summery type of foundation it's awesome it doesn't have like amazing coverage obviously it's not like extreme coverage or anything but it does cover nicely and it you know it doesn't cake up or get too um built up on your skin and then as you can see i have a pesky pimple there that's just not going away so we'll get that in a second um, i'm gonna go ahead and go down my neck just because i do have a five o'clock shadow down here and i want to kind of cover that up i'm gonna go on my ears a little bit just make sure everything looks smooth and blended. I go all the way back here. I go all the way back here. I get this ear. Like, make sure you get everywhere when it comes to foundation. Because you want it to look really even and smooth. And then I like to keep my eye untouched until I go in with concealer. So you'll see in a second. Um, <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and put a little concealer on that blemish spot. I'm going to use my little e.l.f. camo concealer. And I'm going to conceal that little spot there that's just not going away in this one those are just super like intense spots for me and then I'll just tap really gently over those until they go away okay there we go it's still you know that's as good as we're gonna get when we put powder on it it will go away more um, There we go, and I'm actually gonna use this as my under eye concealer, the e.l.f. Camo in the shade Light Peach. Love this concealer, it's so good. And I'm gonna use, you know, not a whole lot, just about that much under my eyes. It's very intense and very brightening. So it definitely gives you that like super intense look. And that's all about all I do right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out using the pointy side of the sponge. So I just like to go in with like an up close mirror when I do this part so I can really get in there and just see what I'm doing. Make sure I'm getting in all those creases. And then we're gonna go right over the eyelid as well with that excess that's on our sponge and just cover that up and look at that. It just evened out everything, brightened it up. Looked amazing. We're gonna go right in and under here. We're gonna go under our chin and just get that shit blended out. Okay. okay, now that we got our foundation and concealer on, we're going to go ahead and set it with powder. I'm going to use the Airspun Loose Setting Powder and Translucent Extra Coverage. I dump it into the lid like that, and then I like to just go ahead and just tap into there with the sponge. And then apply under our eyes first, make sure we get that nice and set. We want to make sure that <clears throat> we don't have any like creasing under there or anything. And then we go ahead on this side. I'm trying not to make that weird face, but just kind of naturally happens <laughs> and then I go back with the flat side and I tap that in there and I'm just gonna go ahead and just press this powder into my skin and it's really nice because the sponge is still a little bit damp so doing this just gives you a less cakey effect with the powder but I do think that when you're doing a full face of like foundation and stuff you want to make sure you set it because Otherwise, it's just gonna like come off, and especially with us wearing masks lately too, like you really need to set that shit. So set that shit in place, really get it in there, get it set, and I do think it's important. So if you're not doing that step, I definitely recommend. Okay, I'm back, and I did my brows. This is the brows I got. Um, they're not super snatched or anything, but this is what I live for. So anyways, they're done. So now we're gonna go into a bronzer contour blush all that fun stuff and again i'm trying to use again i'm trying to use more affordable like products and stuff because you don't need to use expensive makeup to get the look so anyways i've been doing more uh, affordable products lately and really living for it i'm gonna go in with the wet n wild contour palette in dolce de leche and use this to contour my face but i'm gonna use like a thicker brush like this a more like brush like that um and kind of do more of like a bronzer moment rather than like a full line of like contour kind of thing um and we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna bronze up the cheeks oh look at that mm-hmm 
I'm gonna get down here in the chin, jawline, and I'm just going in, and I'm just kind of doing a more bronzery type of vibe today. That's what I'm feeling. It's more summery, in my opinion, rather than like a full like. So I'm gonna go down the sides of my nose just a little bit. Right here, get this side of the jawline. And obviously I like to get up here on the forehead and the hairline, just really like get that in there. That just kind of shrinks your forehead a bit and I live for it. Get it over here. Yeah, I like to go kind of heavy with the bronzer contour stuff, but more like a bronzer vibe rather than like a flat out contour because it just looks a little more natural and just gives your face a little bit of color, a little bit of definition. I love it. I'm trying to keep my hair out of my face. <laughs> Okay, feeling it. And then my face is already kind of red, but I do like to add a little bit of blush. I'm just gonna use this one from Makeup Geek right here, and it's that one. I know it's intense, but I use it a little bit and it works great. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap in there just like very gently and then tap off the excess and then just, just gently apply it. Mm, cute. Get our chin, get our nose. That might be too much blush. <laughs> so if that ever happens, just take a little bit of powder and just kind of go over it. Get powder on my shoulder. There, I feel it. I live for it. Now, we're gonna use the Morphe Jeffree Star palette and we're gonna go in and we're gonna do some eyeshadow. So, I love this palette, it's one of my favorites. It's so pretty. Just come on, you guys. Like, are you kidding? Ugh, it's such a gorgeous palette. The shades blend beautifully. Like, I have nothing bad to say about this palette. I live for it, and it's just one of my very, very favorite palettes. And the, I, I love it. Um, so anyways, we're going to do a nice, like, peachy pink smoky moment. So let's do that. My ring light in the mirror. Um... So I'm going to go in and I'm going to start with the shade called Back, right up here on the top row. It's at that light pink. I love that color. Like, it's just a nice wash of light pink just to start the look off. And it's just so natural and gentle of a shade. It's just awesome. Oh, I love it so much. So we're just going to go ahead and just start blending that right through the crease, all the way in and all the way out, and just kind of like wing it up a little bit just to give the eye like a little moment <laughs> and we're gonna do this side oh it's so pretty my hair it's so pretty it's almost just like it just it goes with the blush so nicely okay and then we're gonna go in with the shade called hmm which one are we going in with let's go in the shade uh, channel it's like that nice I'm using the same brush just so that it blends naturally in and it's this is more of like an orange peach type of vibe and we're going to kind of put that like out here in the outer edge outer V and just kind of gently wing it out Ooh, that is pretty that is really pretty let's do this side living for it <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with a new brush <clears throat> I'm gonna go in with that nice pink called self-made one of my favorite shades in the palette right there and we're gonna really get this color pop and like look at the pigment like are you kidding tap that off and we're gonna go ahead and put that right in this outer corner here and just be gentle with it you don't want to go crazy you just want to kind of keep it out in the outer edge you don't want to go all the way in or anything and just gently blend it out. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it. Mm. 
that has, I think that is my favorite shade in the palette. It's such a basic shade, but it's so pretty. It's like perfect bubblegum pink. Mm. Love it. So we're just going to go ahead and blend that shit. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Y'all. And then we're going to go uh, go in with the shade uh, Pink Fleet, which is that purpley kind of color. And I'm just going to put that on the outer edge, like up here. Just to really bring it there, just to really give it that, like, moment, you know? Oh, yeah. That is so pretty. It's so basic, but it just is like, you know, just effortless looking. Okay, now we need to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to use a kind of like a more detailed brush. And I'm just going to go in. What color? Let's go in with that pink fleet color on the lower lash line. Keep it kind of tight to the lower lash line. Ooh, yes, bitch. All right, we're gonna do that side. Yes. Okay, now for our lid, we're just gonna use that first color in the palette called Welcome. I think will be a gorgeous lid shade. Um, but I'm gonna spritz the brush with the rose water and I'm gonna dip in there. It's that color right here, so pretty. Ooh, it's like a silvery, but it's not all the way silver. Oh, bitch. That is gorgeous. Are you kidding? That is absolutely stunning. Oh, and we're gonna go ahead and blend that edge in a second, but I'm gonna do the other eye first. So yeah, just wetting the brush just really gives it like more of like an intense moment. And for highlight, I've been living for this shade called Two in the palette as a highlight. Ugh, bitch. It's really good. Oh, that is so good. Oh, live for it. So I'm gonna use that as my highlight today. Get the nose above the lip here. It's a little glittery, that's the only thing with it. I'm just gonna brush away some of that. Oh yeah, there's glitter on my face now. Oh no. Okay, we're saving it. It's fine. And for our lips today, I'm gonna, I'll show you guys the lashes in a second, but I'm gonna use this Pixie by Petra Peony Pink Liquid Lipstick. It's a matte liquid lip, and I think it'll go gorgeously with this look. Like, it almost matches it. Mmm. So good. I love the applicator on these are like pointed so they you can really like line your lips with it really nicely oh that's so pretty oh 
I feel like a Barbie doll. Ooh. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> That's the vibe. Next step for me is curling my lashes with the lash curler. I hate doing it, but it makes such a difference. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. Get in there and curl that shit up. Now I'm going to add some mascara. Today I'm going to use the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. I love this. You can find this at Ulta. It's really inexpensive. It's like 4 to $5 and it's really a good one. Hold on, I'll show you guys the difference. And you could totally just put this on and then not do a lash, but... You guys see it? Like, look. <laughs> Today I'm gonna apply these lashes right here. These are from... They're from Walmart. I know that they're cheap lashes. They're like three bucks. But they're nice, like, wispy lashes. They're from... Sally Hansen, I think. I don't know what the brand is. I don't remember. Something called Iconics or something. I don't know. But I saw them and they're like, oh, these are super like pretty and glam. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on real quick. And then we'll come back for the finished look and the outro. And I hope you guys like this look. But let me be right back with the lashes. All right, guys. This is the finished look. I hope you guys like the video. I love how this turned out. It's like Barbie pink. Gives me Barbie vibes. Like... Oh, I feel so snatched. But um, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to try to do weekly videos on this channel. Makeup tutorials, skincare videos, whatever you guys want to see. So leave some comments down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.